Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to explain a 2014 German science fiction and thriller movie called Who Am I? Make sure to watch it till the end because the story will have a lot of plot twists. The movie begins with Benjamin Engel, a hacker from Berlin, saying that he has become one of the most wanted hackers in the world. He turns himself in, claiming that he can lead them to friends, a Russian cyber mafia organization, and only wants to be interrogated by Han Lindbergh, head of the cyber division at Europol. Benjamin starts his story by telling Han that he considers himself as a superhero with invisibility as his superpower, meaning he was never noticed by people around due to him being socially awkward. Like any other superheroes, he also has no parents. His father ran away, and his mother committed suicide when he was eight. Since then, Benjamin has been living with his grandmother, who suffers from Alzheimer's disease. He tells her that he started learning programming and successfully hacked his first system when he was 14. Despite being a loser in real life, he feels belonged on the net, wasting most of his time on the dark net where he can be whoever he always wanted. There, he admires MRX, a famous hacker whose identity is unknown and he can hack into any system. He explains that MRX has three rules, which are no system is safe, aim for the impossible, and don't limit your fun to only the virtual world. Benjamin couldn't attend university and had to work as a pizza delivery boy. He tells Han that Marie, a woman he has fallen in love with since high school, is the real cause why he is trapped into the chaos. Learning that Marie is struggling for the following exam, he attempts to be a superhero for her. He sneaks into the university and directly goes to the university's central server. He hacks into the server and manages to download all the exam questions. However, he is spotted by the security guard and arrested. Lucky for him, due to no previous criminal records, he is sentenced to 50 hours of community service. During his punishment, he meets Max, who seems to understand IT stuff and is interested in Benjamin's skill in hacking. Max then invites him to a party. Benjamin claims that Max's personality is the total opposite of him, a self-confident and charismatic individual. There, Max introduces Benjamin to his friends, Stefan the software master and Paul the hardware freak. They force Benjamin to prove his ability in machine language or they will kill him. He manages to hack into the house system and kill the electricity in the neighborhood. Turns out that it's not Max's house and they escape from there. Marie follows them and then she finally recognizes Benjamin. After that, he returns home where he finds his grandmother is walking in the middle of the street full of cars. Due to her disease, he has to put her in the hospital for a certain amount of time. On the train, Benjamin accidentally meets Max who is also a big fan of MRX. He invites him for a walk and explains to Benjamin about social engineering, the most effective hacking method which exploits man's two most important tendencies, trust and adverse to conflict to get everything they want. Max also shows him how to perform the social engineering concept in a cafe where they get two free donuts as a result. Max then brings Benjamin to join their hacking mission. Benjamin goes into a conference hall where he is forced to hack into the presentation laptop he sneaks in and manages to reach the laptop, connecting it to a predetermined connection. Mission succeeded. They manage to gain full access to the laptop and show a funny and disrespectful video to the audience. After their first success, Benjamin uses his grandma's house as their headquarters, and they decide to form a hacking team called Clay, which stands for Clowns Laughing at You. Since then, they have been doing a lot of hacking activities, starting from the financial world, where they hack into the system and deliberately alter the stock chart into whatever they like. After that, they proceed to the next target, which is a big pharmaceutical company. Because of their actions, they become viral and famous on social media. However, MRX, Benjamin and Max's idol, is not impressed and does not give a shit about them, which makes Max furious because he wants recognition from him. To calm things down, they decide to pick up hookers on the street and conduct a small party at their base. On the other side, at this point, Friends, which consists of four members with one of them still unidentified, is responsible for the attack on the German army servers and Han, the responsible agent, still cannot capture them even after three years of chasing. Later that night, Benjamin goes out to meet Marie and tries to kiss her, but she rejects the kiss and goes back inside to the building. Not long after, he is confronted by a man who turns out to be Marie's boyfriend and gets punched in the face. The next day, 
MRX sends them an underestimating message from Europol, implying that they are not a threat and Clay is just a group of babies. Offended and infuriated, Max states that they need to perform a huge action and Benjamin suggests hacking the main building of German Central Intelligence, or BND. They go to the landfills and discover a letter that will later be used for phishing in order to gain access to the BND building. Long story short, they gain the entry cards through the PO box and execute the mission. As usual, Benjamin, who acts as a frontliner, breaks into the building unnoticed and manages to reach the server room. They hack into the server and the printers, printing their logos all around the building. They escape from there safely and directly head over to the party. However, there, Benjamin spots Max kissing Marie, which makes him furious and disappointed. The next day, he locks all the entrances to the base, preventing his team from getting into the house, and secretly sends data that contains a top-secret list of names to MRX. The others manage to break into the house and Max immediately punches Benjamin in the face, beating him up. However, because of his reckless action, Krypton, who turns out to be an undercover agent in Friends, gets killed after his identity is exposed. It is revealed that MRX sells the data to the Russian cyber mafia and MRX is actually one of Friends' members. Benjamin admits his fault to the team. Since then, Clay is considered as a terrorist hacker group. Seeking to clear their name for the murder, Benjamin attempts to contact MRX to reveal his identity through public networks while the agents manage to track their location. Long story short, the agents arrive at the building, but they manage to escape from the building and run away from the agents. Benjamin tells Han that MRX orders them to hack into the Europol system and Clay has also prepared a trick in order to reveal his identity. After burning their headquarters, they head over to the Europol HQ in the Hog. They try several attempts to get access to a building, such as dumpster diving, fishing, but all fail. They even attempt to get in through the sewers, but are locked and Max's hand gets impaled by a nail in the process. Later in the night, Benjamin goes back there and notices a visitor card laying on the ground. Using the social engineering skill, he fools the guard, telling him that he dropped his wallet and his father would kill him if he didn't get it back and manages to plant a hacking device under the cafeteria's table. The next day, he gains access to the system and attempts to hand over the access, including the Trojan he has installed inside it, to MRX. However, MRX manages to discover the trap and launches a counterattack, exposing Benjamin's face and giving his location to the Russian agents through an IP transmitter. Luckily, Benjamin runs away and is still able to evade the agents through a subway. He returns to the hotel room where he finds out all of his teammates have been killed. Left with no option, Benjamin turns himself into Han, who was suspended due to her failure to capture friends. Back in the investigation room, he hands over the bullet casings to Han and claims that he wants to be invisible again. Han then realizes that Benjamin wants to be included in the witness protection program. He admits it, and he will help her get MRX and friends so Han's career will be saved. Benjamin logs into the darknet, disguising himself as MRX and spreading lies about MRX being a snitch. Locked, the real MRX is forced to break into the darknet using a tool that has been prepared earlier by Benjamin. Turns out that the hammer he used earlier was an IP transmitter, and MRX's real identity is finally exposed. The FBI eventually arrests MRX, who turns out to be a 19-year-old American boy from New York. After that, Han notices a weird nail wound in Benjamin's hand which is supposed to be in Max's. She secretly breaks into his grandma's house where she finds a box of Ritalin in the trash bin. She also approaches Marie who claims that she has never seen Benjamin again since high school. Later that night, Han goes to the hospital where Benjamin's grandma is treated. The doctor, who also treated his mother back then, reveals that Benjamin's mother suffered from multiple personality disorder which can be genetically inherited and can be triggered by Ritalin. Han connects all the plot holes in Benjamin's story and eventually discovers that Max, Stefan, and Paul never existed. She states that they are all made-up characters, and Benjamin has been doing this all alone. She adds that his teammates' bodies in the hotel were never found. Han then concludes that Clay is him alone, and the witness protection program cannot be given due to his illness, which makes Benjamin desperate. However, after the case is closed, Han changes her mind and allows him to access the witness protection program. He changes his identity and Han subsequently drops him off. Before he goes, Han asks him to reveal the sugar magic tricks to her. After performing the trick, 
Han realizes something is wrong, but she keeps letting him go. At the end of the movie, Benjamin and his team regroup on a ferry boat, successfully performing the greatest social engineering trick of all time. We are brought back to the scene after Benjamin escapes from the Russian agents. In the hotel room, they plan to deliberately put a lot of plot holes in the story and expect her to solve all the holes. To make the story more real, they deliberately create a nail wound in Benjamin's hand. At the end of the movie, Han realizes the deception, but she will not hunt them as she already got what she wanted. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.